I like to know where people stand so I know how to treat you accordingly. They be trying to do it, I'm just doing me. Yeah. I'll be working hard, he just want it free. Be competitive with yourself. Uh, I caught myself, I didn't say quick video because it's never quick for sure. Uh, this video, I, I wanted to talk about um, Louis Vuitton repairs and stuff like that. If you're not aware of it, like I wasn't aware of it, I just kind of, since I'm not vlogging or anything like that, I kind of just want to, I kind of took care of it. And then now that we're here, I wanted to kind of share it and uh, show you my experience of, of what exactly happened. So one thing, th this is why I always recommend when you buy stuff like luxury items, especially get it from direct or from an authorized reseller uh if possible right you're paying all this money if it's legitimate if it's a authentic item even if you buy it from a certain third-party seller it's not going to be that much of a difference in price if anything resellers are selling it higher than what it is retail anyway so in my opinion it's worth paying a little bit extra or being able to find it in the actual boutiques themselves because I just feel like it gives you a peace of mind where you don't have to wonder and worry. So I don't necessarily agree, but I understand how it works to get basically um, like a, uh, what people refer to them as SAs, basically like a store uh, associate or sales associate or whatever you want to call it. When you start building a relationship, when you go to these luxury brands, basically when you, uh, start purchasing items or investing in items uh, you, you start building a profile and the profile is basically it shows what you spend how much you spent what you spent it on and it also helps verify your items being authentic right so if you take your your item or your bag or purse or whatever you have excuse me if you took it to like a louis vuitton boutique basically if it if they don't Apparently, they're not allowed to tell you if it's fake. They're not just going to say this is fake. What they're going to do is just decline or not be able to help you with the repair, right? So that's why it's good to have a profile because it shows the things that you bought. And, and you can verify that and make sure that it, it's available or able to get repaired if it's possible in the first place. Repairs usually do take a while. But if you ever have a repair or missing a piece of your authentic item and they allow it to go through the process, uh, basically what happens is... If you go to Louis Vuitton app, there's a portion in the app itself where you can set up a like a, a like a video chat or something like that. Where I don't know the correct term, but the person who your advisor is to help with the repair process. Or for me, I find it easier to build uh, or go to directly to a store. So lately, I've been actually building my profile with a specific person, and the reason is and the benefit is. Uh, if you're the type of person who wants exclusive drops or things when they come, like try to quickly get it, or you're a type of person who wants to get things that doesn't seem readily available on your own. I've already purchased a few items that you can't get just surfing the internet or going into certain boutiques because uh, a lot of these are just not available in store. And I got a few items by building my profile. I, I guess it's just basically a form of networking, basically where you're um, building that relationship with that salesperson, right? So I, I guess you have to kind of, it does suck. And it, it, in some ways it doesn't seem fair or right, but it just is what it is, right? So once you build that connection or that business relationship, if there are items that come in that you want and that person happens to have it, I mean, I guess they can choose to call who they want to give it to or sell it to, or it's a first come first serve at the store, right? I've had things like that where I was called and like, hey, remember that thing you were looking for? I actually have one right here. Do you want it? You know what I'm saying? So they kind of just look out for you in that sense. So I think it's good and healthy to build that type of relationship, even though I don't 100% agree with it. Again, I do understand it. It just is what it is. It's like that everywhere. You know what I'm saying? They do it at like Rolex dealers, authorized Rolex dealers. Obviously, they do the same thing. They build profiles and they try to look out for the people who spend the money, which in a, in a way does still make sense, right? So to get to my point, sorry about that. My girl, One of my girl's bags, there's like a tassel thing, right? With a key. Uh, it holds the keys and there's a lock, a Louis Vuitton lock. So I already recorded this video prior, but my stupid fault, I didn't have the audio on, so I'm just re-recording this. I'm trying to not jump too far out of place in, in what I'm trying to say here, but I was able to reorder the tassel 
for her bag that's actually a discontinued model at this point. So it's not like you can go to the store and buy her same bag. I think it's called the Flower Hobo or something like that. But the lock is stuck. There's like a twist lock on the bag and then you lock the lock in it. So you can't open the bag in a certain part of the bag now because of the lock being stuck. So now I got to get the lock cut. Um, there are ways where you can maybe go on eBay and try to find it. But it's, what's the point? You're getting a used lock. It might be scratched up, all that stuff. You know what authentic lock is because I believe it's made of solid brass and it's not going to peel or chip or anything like that. It's going to remain gold in color. And all the locks are basically numbered. If you turn the lock upside down, you see a number stamped in it. Your keys need to match. So I thought I could simply just buy another key. It don't work like that. But with the tassel and the keys, two keys and the lock, it only ended up being just under $100. But the wait took a few months. I think it took like almost three months or something like that. But it was ready for the store. And let me just show you something real quick. So... Uh, this wasn't about building a network relationship as far as the repair process. I was just bringing all that up, just kind of like filling in the conversation that we're not conversation, but the dialogue I ha I'm having here. Um, I'm just kind of trying to fit as much as I can information wise into the video. Uh, again, if you're going to get a repair, if you know that the bag was a gift, you don't know where it came from. Uh, don't go into the store just saying it's real and it's all this and get mad if they decline it for some reason unless you know for a fact that it's authentic uh because like again um they're not going to tell you out straight out is fake you know what i'm saying so make sure you just get things from authorized places and um uh, yeah so one thing i like about this experience he could have easily gave it to me in my hand in a bag or whatever it came in initially that when he opened it for me because he even tied the tassel thing or whatever all he put it all together because it was kind of confusing and if he didn't do it i probably wouldn't have remembered or figured out how to do it right away but this right here is the bag it came in not saying the bag is a big deal but let me tell you something buying luxury items is kind of like tattoos it's like you're you're nervous at first of doing it but once you do it it's like it's easier to do it again and again and again and again right so I always talk about value nothing is necessarily worth what you're paying for it it's just unless you find value in it right if you're going penny for penny dollar for dollar dollar value it, it's not going to be worth it right so you have to find the value in it but with that being said some people don't understand the the value in the packaging right so a lot of companies when you buy something and the packaging is cheap is because they tried to save money and cut corners, right? So they're already making money on you, but now they're also cutting corners to save even more money and make, make more profit by giving you cheap packaging. Well, Louis Vuitton is very expensive and can be very expensive or costly. It is marked up to a certain degree, right? They're already making profit, yes, but at least they're not cutting corners on packaging. So it's just like, I find all this stuff is part of the experience and I, f I, f I think it's very nice. Same with Cartier, they have a nice experience. Got the pa uh, paper with the wax stamp on it and all that stuff. I think that's really nice. Um, I think it's not that I really care that it's nice. I would care more if it wasn't included. I would, I would feel like, dang, you're getting all this money from me. You couldn't at least throw in some good paper some good packaging, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's good. This is just the receipt. Uh, this was tied up earlier, but when I opened it again, uh, I recorded this and I kind of messed that up. So this is the packaging. And again, I mean, they could have just gave it to me in my hand and I could have walked out. This was the how it was tied up. There you go. So this is the piece right here, as you can see. Hopefully you can see the keys are inside. This is a little difficult. Let me see. Okay. Here's the keys right here. Let me show you something real quick. So you see this is numbered. Hopefully you can make it out, but it says like 312 on here. It's two keys. And then in the box... And this thing got a little weight to it. It's not like no cheap rinky dink lock it got fingerprints on it but did i scratch this already i don't think so it's gonna get scratched regardless but it is clean it's just fingerprinty that's a fingerprinty got a lot of smudges on it from fingerprints but as you can see it has the same number here 312 and that's pretty much uh the matching lock to go with uh those keys so again initially or originally 
I was hoping, I was hoping that I would just be able to go ahead and um, buy new keys. It would have solved the solved it really easily. But I was still missing this piece. You know what I mean? So this is cool. It, it, considering what it is and the brand and stuff, I was thinking this might have cost more. This is technically not a repair, but a replacement of a of a certain part. It was only uh, just under $100. So I, actually, that's not too bad. I was assuming it was going to be something ridiculous. And the fact that it, the fact that they, this is actually from a discontinued bag, I think it's pretty dope that I was still able to get it. It just took a little bit of time. So maybe they had to remake it or whatever the case is. Or they use the same identical tassel or whatever it's called for a different bag. Not really sure. So I'm going to pack this up and then I'm going to end up putting it on the bag for her. And uh, she can go about her business with it and uh, be good. So yeah that's pretty much it so again you if you need a repair or a replacement part you can go to louis vuitton's app and you can do it that way and put the inquiry in and all the other stuff you can also go directly to a store i prefer the in-store process um again help build your profile not just for the networking process of it but build your profile because for stuff like this, it makes it a lot easier to be able to get things replaced or repaired if it's possible because it's already in the system. They can see it and all this other stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. It wasn't difficult at all. It's just a waiting period. Now, if you get something repaired and they say it's repairable, sometimes they have to send it off just to see if it's repairable, which can take quite some time. So if it's something that you don't want to be away from for a certain amount of time, it may not be the best option for you um, or if you have no choice. Sorry about all that noise. My dog is down there scratching her collar or whatever she's doing. Hey, stop going nuts anyway make sure you do everything at top level at your top level remember you're no competition with anybody except yourself so make sure your next move is your best move or at least your better move till next time later